Hi again. Um, sorry if I look really busted, but first of all, it's 10 o'clock at night and I'm exhausted. Like, I'm exhausted. That's number two. I, um, it's been a really long weekend. It's Monday. Um, and not a long weekend, like, in a good way. Like, I had three days off of work, but, like, a long weekend, like, I was insanely busy. Um, I just did, like, just now put up a blog post. I'll link it on either side of my head. I don't know which side. It will be easier to do, but I will do it on one of these sides. See it? See it? Um, I did a blog post talking about what I did this weekend um, and what I wore, my dress, my makeup, my shoes, stuff like that. So if you're interested, click it. Um, if you can't tell from the title of the video, this is my nail polish collection. And I thought I would do this video because um, I always enjoy seeing people's nail polish collections. And um, I just got rid of about probably about 15 bottles of nail polish. So my collection is quite small now. So I could go through it rather quickly. Um, okay, so I store my... Hold on, it's a little awkward to lift. I store my polishes in this thing. Hold on. I'm just not trying to dump them all over the floor. Um, looks like this. I got... It's pink. I don't know if the colors are showing up right. But um, I got it from the dollar store. <laughs> because I love the dollar store and um, that's actually what inspired me to cut down my collection because I saw it and thought it would be good for my polishes because I was storing them really no different, no real way. Um, I just kind of had them thrown into a drawer and you're not even supposed to have nail polish on its side, but whatever. Um, but I knew I had too many, so I knew I had to get rid of a bunch. I threw away at least 15 bottles, so, and I feel good about it because I didn't really wear it, but whatever. So I'm just going to get in. This is not in any particular order. Um, not my favorites. I'll probably just work from the back of the container to the front so that's like larger bottles to smaller bottles and that's pretty much it okay really long introduction sorry okay so the first color is from orally and it's the color pink nude i probably will not show you all the titles because i'm sure you can hear me um it just looks like this the color is like making it look crazy it's a very very white pink it's a very very white pink it's a um french manicure color they call it i love this um it's like my favorite almost white nude nail polish. I absolutely love this. Um, it's just really good formula. It's a nice brush. Most of these kind of colors are very, very hard to work with. And this one is pretty nice. So that's the first one. The second one is also an orally polish and it's in the color, uh, honeymoon in style. I showed this when I got it in a haul. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got this like amazing shimmer in it. That's just so fine. It's not glitter at all. It's just shimmer. Um, and it's just like a nude champagne color. Um, I used quite a bit of it because I actually mixed it with something else. So this is just what's left. It's a beautiful color, but it's very, very thin. Um, and you really can't make it opaque because it's just like very thin consistency. When I bought it, I was hoping I could, you know, build it up, but it's really quite like watery. It's definitely a top coat. Okay, the next color is from Revlon. They have really, really good nail polishes. This is the color Midnight Affair. Now, when I got this, first of all, this is gorgeous. Like, can you see that? The shimmer is in there, and it's just this really, really, really dark purple. I love dark colors like this. Um, when I got this color, it was a navy blue, but I mixed it with, I don't know, I mix my polishes all the time. You will see that as a theme. Um, I mixed it with something because I didn't really like the shade of blue, and this shade of purple is just unbelievable I absolutely love this polish but it started out as Midnight Affair which is navy blue the next one from Revlon is uh sheer pink it's another like white-ish nude pink color because I really really like these kind of colors uh in the summer this one's nice and um sheer um so it's like a little bit thinner it's pretty easy to work with and if you want to do like French manicures on yourself I would recommend this type okay the next one is very very famous and it is minted from Revlon um which is just the perfect creamy mint green um it's very very opaque it's a nice cream finish I absolutely love this color okay the next one is from um Sally Hansen it's pretty old but I really like the bottle it's in the color fire opal and it's from the fire opal collection um, look how pretty the bottle is. That's actually not, I mean, that was the color of the polish, but this is actually just the color of the actual bottle. Um, inside I've mixed it with a couple different polishes. It's kind of now like a pink coral. I'm not sure if you can see that, but yeah, I mix my polishes all the time. 
the next color, this is one of my favorite polishes. And I really don't like red nail polish because I don't like the way it looks on my skin. I, I don't know why. Just something, my fingers are pretty pink, which I know sounds weird, but my skin tone is pretty yellow. But like my nail beds and the area around them, I feel like they're kind of pink. And so a lot of colors, I don't really like the way they look on me. This was red and red is one of them, but this red is unbelievably gorgeous. It's called Red Carpet from uh, Sally Hansen. Look at this color. I don't even need to like block it, but I will. Look how beautiful that is. Like, isn't that just gorgeous? Let me see better on the bottom. It's just a deep cherry red with insane red glitter. Wait, look at that. How gorgeous is that? I love this, this polish. Really, really love it. And I'm not a red nail polish person. The next color is from LA Colors. This is the only polish I have from them, and I love it. Um, I don't know the color. There's no name on it, but it's the Color Craze Nail Polish with Nail Hardeners. And it's just this beautiful silver glitter in, like, a silver base, so it's very, very opaque. It's not just, like, a, a glitter top coat. It's actually just a silver glitter nail polish. It's really, really pretty. Okay, the next color, I guess I'll go through sinful colors um is this color which is called hot spot and this color is absolutely gorgeous it's a navy blue with some like almost turquoise blue shimmers in it i'm not sure if you can really see them but it's really really beautiful i like this color a lot and i don't usually like navy blue on my nails either but that one is really nice this one from sinful colors is in the color hottie this actually needs to be thrown away i don't know why i didn't throw it away when I throw away with my other polishes because it's really like thick and gloppy. It's just, it's a glitter top coat. But the thing of this is, is it didn't used to be this color. I actually forgot I had this. Um, and it was like in a dark spot for, I don't know, probably several months. And um, because it was inside a drawer. And when I pulled it out, I was like, what nail polish is this? Right? Because I'm like, I don't recognize it. And then I looked at it and I'm like, it used to be blue. This used to be, um, if you've ever seen, I know I've talked about it in videos, but there's a Sinful Colors, this Sinful Colors polish was very, very similar to the uh, blue sparkly color from the Katy Perry collection with OPI. And now it's like clear, like the blue just faded. I don't know what happened. That's pretty weird, but I obviously don't keep these in really dark places. Um, but I'm going to throw it away, I guess. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Long story about that. Okay, my next Sinful Colors polish is 20, 24. Mint Apple. I'm just like starting to tell you the number. Um, I have a lot of these polishes from this brand. I like this brand a lot. Um, and it just looks like this. It's a lot different than this mint green. They're like, this isn't mint green at all. I don't know why they call it that. It is pretty, but it's really not mint green. I'm not sure if you're getting a real sense of the color. <laughs> just looks like that. Okay. And it's got like, um, it has some shimmer in it, but I can't really tell what color the shimmer is. Maybe silver. It's very fine. Okay. Um, the next one is All About You, which is also from Sinful Colors. I absolutely love this polish. It's beautiful. It's just this insane gold bronze. It's more actually bronze than it is gold glitter. Um, and it is in like a kind of bronze base, but it definitely is a top coat. It becomes opaque if you pack on about eight coats, which... I do pack on about eight coats because it's just really, really pretty. Um, and it's got like some kind of red in here too, which makes it look more bronze. It's just a really, really, really pretty, um, really pretty color. Okay, um, and my last Sinful Colors polish is one of my, it's one of my favorite nail polishes I've ever found. And it's in the color 24-7. And it's just neon pink. You can see the, the light actually won't even really show it um, because it's just so bright. It's extremely opaque. Um, if you know anything about neon colors, they dry extremely matte so if you don't like that finish you need to put a top coat on them um this is gorgeous and you don't even need to put like a light color base underneath it it's just like i wish you could see it it's unbelievable if you i mean um it's similar to shocking pink but i think it's actually more neon it's it's just incredible like i wish i could find a way for you to see it but there is no way you just have to go see it in person because the light will do it no justice this is great with a tan Ooh. Great on your toes. This is just a beautiful, beautiful color. Okay. Um, the next one is from OPI. This is 
Um, well, it used to be the color Susie and the Lifeguard, which was beautiful. If you've never seen it, it's a baby pink. Um, it's like a very pearlescent pink. As a matter of fact, what I've always found thought it looked like is this, which is Girl Meets Pearl from Benefit. If you have seen this stuff, that's pretty much what Susie and the Lifeguard looks like. It's just like a pearly baby pink. It's really, really pretty. Um, yeah, like kind of like that. But it's horrible to apply. Um, it always came out streaky and nasty on me. And even when I brought it to um, a nail salon to have them do it, it still came out looking nasty. So I mixed it with, I don't know what I mixed it with, but it became kind of this lilac -y color, um, which somehow worked better. And now there's some shimmer in it where it's very pearly, but it's not shimmery. So this is a, obviously just a unique color because I just kind of created it, but it's nice and much, much better application than before. Um, next from OPI is a, what used to be the color Romantic Retreat, which if you follow OPI, have followed it for a long time, is a very, very, very light pink. Um, very, 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 very light pink. It's very similar to this color. It's like a sheer baby pink. Um, I loved the color, but it was horrible to work with. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of OPI nail polish. I don't think it's the best. I just don't. I think China Glaze is better. Um, I think Essie is better. I think Orly is way better. I just don't think OPI is that good, at least the ones I've tried. So um, it, this used to be a romantic retreat. Like I said, a really light, light pink that just came out streaky and awful every time I used it. Um, so I mixed it with another color, well, a couple other colors, and made this, like when you see this color, that's why I'm like, I, I imagine this is how it started. Okay, and this is the color that I made it. And this is just one of those gray, muddy, purple colors. And it is definitely purple. I'm not sure the light is really picking that up correctly. I don't think it is, but um, it is actually purple. And, but it's like a very muddy gray purple. And this is probably turned into my most worn nail polish through the whole fall and winter. So it started out as a color that I never ever wore and was gonna get rid of it. Um, and I don't even remember what I mixed in this, but this is just, I absolutely love this color now. It's just really nice. Okay. I think that's the last one. I think I've pretty much chucked all the rest of my OPI colors. Um, okay. The next one is Limousine from Essie, which is another of these type of colors, just like a really opaque, almost white pink. Um, loved it and used it all, almost all up. And then I mixed it when it was almost run out with this um, orally glitter one that I just showed you because it's such a pretty color. And now it looks like this and it is absolutely beautiful mixed together. I'm sorry, my own nails are so disgusting as I do a nail polish video, but like I said, it was a long weekend. Um, they did look nice on Friday. By Monday, they look horrible. Um, I'll show you that brush. I feel like sometimes you can see it better on the brush, but I could be making that up but that's what it looks like now. Um, just a little bit different. It's more of like a, a beigey nude now instead of a pinky nude, but still really pretty. Is it showing up? There we go, maybe. And then I have um, Nice is Nice, which is an absolutely beautiful pastel lilac color. It's a cream, there's no shimmer in it. And this was in my uh, June favorites. I really love this color. It's really, really pretty. Oh, my nails are so bad, I'm sorry. And then last from Essie, this is one of my favorite recent nail polish purchases. And this is Brazilian from the Brazilian collection. Um, and it's just this insane orange coral with hot pink kind of reflex in it. Um, it may look just kind of flat orange here, but I promise when you take this out into the sun on your fingernails, you will see the hot pink. It's beautiful. It's, this is just gorgeous. Like this, this is a, a wonderful, wonderful summer nail polish. It's so beautiful. Love that color. And now we're down to the wire. I only have three more to show you. Um, the first one uh, is probably the, the nail polish I've worn more than, like I've, usually I throw polishes out. I don't usually keep them for so long because what happens is I get them and then I don't really wear them very often. So they just kind of sit around forever. And then by the time I want to use them, they're nasty. So I throw them out when they're like half full. This nail polish is literally down to right here. Like 
it's almost empty. Like what you're pretty much seeing is just what's left to the, on the sides. Like it's really almost empty. When I use it, I have to like tip it and tilt it and I need a new one. And they do still make this. This is from Milani. It's Disco Lights. I've never had so many people notice my nail polish as when I've worn this because it's incredible. Um, it is in a clear base, but because the pieces of glitter are so large, um, when you put it on your nails, you can get it completely, completely opaque in about three to four coats, depending on how thick the coats are. And this is just pink glitter. I mean, it's just, it's so beautiful. If you are a fan of glitter and you're a fan of the color pink, this is the nail polish for you. Like I was just recently out to lunch with my mother. I just need to show it to you because it's just, look at it. Um, with, and the, or my waitress was like, she just took our order and then she came back and she's like, I'm so sorry, but she's like, what polish is that? She's like, I've never seen anything like it. And I'm like, it's from Milani. I'm like, you can get it at CVS. My computer just did something weird. But anyway, yeah, you can get it from CVS. I was like, just, I was like, run, don't walk. And I'm like, and it was like six bucks. So yeah, I, like I repeat that. And you can also purchase Milani from their website. So that's another place you can go and get their nail polishes, which I think are great. And that's the last two I have to show you are both milani polishes the um first polish is called paradise pink it's what i'm wearing on my nails but don't look at it it's hideously painted right now um but i'll show you anyway what it looks like Ugh. it's just like a um it's a baby pink but it's not like a white baby pink like this it's definitely definitely pink but it's very very milky it's very creamy and it's very very opaque and it's beautiful i love this this is like one of my favorite colors to wear it's coming off very white but i promise it is actually pink maybe if i show you the brush so i always feel like that helps doesn't help but i know it looks white but i swear it's not go look at it um i mean you can buy these from cvs you can buy them from walgreens they're like i think they're 550 because i bought this just last maybe last weekend 550 and then the last color i have from from is also from milani I have not worn it yet, but I'm super, super excited to wear it because it's gorgeous. Um, it's called Cyberspace. Oh, I'm lying. I have one more after this. Um, and it's a 3D holographic polish. And this is what it looks like. How gorgeous is that? Do you see that? Like, can we just talk about that? Like, are you getting that? Are you picking it up? Let me show you the brush. It's beautiful. This is probably going to be, not probably, this will definitely be the next polish that goes on my nails. Look at that. Well, there's some on my hand, <laughs> if you want to see. Maybe I'll swatch some more on my hands. What the hell? Don't say I've never done anything for you. Anyway, that's what it looks like. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful, and it's really, really unique. I've never seen a color like this. It's just... I mean, look at it. <laughs> it's gorgeous. <clears throat> so, excuse me. And now for the very... Well, let me wipe off that nail polish. For the grand finale, um, if you watched my last... What, JJ? If you watched my last collective haul, you have seen this before. Um, it's Milani nail polish in the color Awesome Orange, and it's a neon orange. Which, again, the light will not pick up because it is neon. Um, and again, like I said, it was neon polishes they dry very very matte so you would have to use a top coat if you and you see this one's a true neon it's quite thin in consistency so they do recommend on the back of the bottle that you put a white base underneath it um i have it on my toes right now but i'm not going to show you because my pedicure is busted plus that's creepy but um yeah i do love this color with a tan so that's basically it <laughs> no not basically that is it that's my nail polish collection um, I can see already two bottles that are probably due for the garbage can after I film this or stop filming this. I mean, I do also have some couple clear top coats, but I don't really think they were worth showing. Um, and that's it. So let me know, um, what your favorite colors are. You can see my range of colors is pretty, uh, pretty big. I like a lot of different kinds of colors, although I would say that these kind of milky pinks are my favorite. But um, yeah, let me know if you have any nail polish recommendations, what your favorites are, blah, blah, blah. And uh, check out my blog and I will talk to you soon, I guess, or I won't. So whatever. Peace out.